Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you a Goodwill thrift haul. Everything that I picked up today that I'm sharing with you are items I picked up to keep for myself. I had asked you guys the last time I did a video like this if you wanted to see things that I did end up keeping for myself. I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested, but there were still several people, you know, the majority of everyone said that yes, they wanted to see it. So I'm happy to share it with you guys. The first thing I picked up was this coffee mug here. It was marked $2 and it is Ocean Park, Maine. It has this little cabin, like lake cabin here on both sides. And it's a nice good sized mug. It's a little larger than your average coffee mug. It's got a good weight to it. And I thought that would be a nice little mug for my husband. It's a little bit more manly than my fiesta wear. <laughs> so I've been adding a few mugs to his collection. They had this needlework embroidery picture there marked $5 and it says no matter where I serve my guest, it seems they like my kitchen best. I had sold a trivet with that saying recently, but I loved the looks of this. You guys know I like to collect cruel and needlework type items. So I definitely was happy to see this. This one was definitely my favorite. I found a few others that I'm reselling, but this one I decided to go ahead and keep. I don't like to keep them in glass because I've been told they kind of press on the fibers and kind of wear it down over time. And I also don't like the glare that it gives when you have it in the glass. So I'm gonna try to find a different frame for this more than likely, or I will try to see if I can stretch it around a like canvas and see how that looks. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of the glass, but I'm super excited about this find. I haven't seen these in a good while. These ones are kind of basic. It's just green and tan. I tend to like the ones that are a little bit more multicolor, but I was happy to pick these up to add to my headboard project. And there were a dollar for the set of two. I did pick up this painting here of this floral. I just thought it was really nicely done. I really enjoyed the frame as well. No glass. <laughs> and this was a little high. It has a hand-picked section sticker on it. I actually saw it over in the regular area and I was happy when I saw it, but then I was like, oh, that's kind of expensive. They had 13 bucks on it with a hand-picked tag. I did get 25% off everything on this order because, you know, as you guys have seen, I've had a few hauls here from this trip and the more I buy, the more I save with my discount card. So it was $13 minus 25% off. So I didn't think it was too bad for a really nice piece of art. And I, you know, it's right up my alley. I love to collect these floral paintings. So I thought it was worth the money. I did pick up a couple of things out of the linen section. This was marked a dollar. It's like a little side tablecloth. So it's double sided. You could do it either on the yellow side with the little green checkers there. You can see the size isn't too bad or you can reverse it here and do the green with the yellow checkers. But I thought that was really cute and definitely, you know, my colors. So I wasn't gonna walk away from that. This next thing, I'm not even quite sure what it is. It was marked $3. I just thought the fabric on it was fantastic and it looks to be handmade. I think actually someone probably used this as a, either like a changing table or like a crib liner. It looks to be about that size. But I mean, look at how great that fabric is. I just thought this would be really cute to use as a background for some Instagram photos or things like that. I don't know, I just really liked the looks to it. So it was hard to walk away from. And yeah, it was marked $3, but I did get the 25% off. So it was like $2.25. I picked up this really neat planter here for $3. It was marked, it has this bamboo on it and it is crazed throughout the whole piece. <laughs> but I thought it was really pretty with the yellow and green. And yeah, so it's just a planter. <laughs> I It has some age to it. I'm not sure who put it out. I don't know if it was McCoy or anything like that. It's not marked, but it does definitely have some age to it. So that was a cool find. I also grabbed this lamp here. I thought this would look really cute on my desk. I love that it looked like a, like a lily pad, right? So it has 
You guys see that? I don't think that's gonna fall. It's kind of like a lily pad there and it kind of goes up there and it's like almost like a flower effect. So I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. I like the gold to it. I have a lot of gold fixtures in my house. So it was marked $8 and again, I did get the 25% off of it. So I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. I almost missed these guys. They were right next to the dolls. I think they were underneath the dolls a little bit even. And you know, I don't normally look at the dolls. So I was just about ready to leave the aisle and I just happened to see them. So what they are are vintage Wade little figures. There's an entire bag here for six bucks. And with the 25% off, I thought, you know, 450 was a pretty good deal. Now Wade's, they're not something that resell for a lot of money. There's a few here and there that are worth more than others. But I have an aunt and she always had a little collection of these and it just kind of reminded me of that. I always thought they were kind of cool and I never happened upon them. It's not something I ever really sought out, but when I saw them, I was like, hey, I wouldn't mind having those in my own collection, you know, having a collection. <laughs> so I got an instant collection here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run through them real quick and see what ones they have. So we have like a little cannonball one here. This one does have a little chip on it. it just says Wade England on the back of it, but has a tiny chip on the corner there, but I mean, it's a cannonball, what do you expect? <laughs> this, aw, it's like a little duck. A little brown ducky. Do you guys like these Wade figurines? I just love the little size to them and I think the colors of them are really great. This one is, is it a Marlin? Kind of looks like a Marlin, right? So. I don't know if I'm going to keep every single one of these. I might sell a few on my live sale, but I do plan to keep, you know, quite a few. This green one here, I think it's a parrot, perhaps. These don't like label what they would be. There's probably like a book out there for collectors, I would imagine. I've never really looked into them. I just know they don't go for a whole lot. It's like a little goose. Aw, a couple little puppies. <laughs> I have two dogs, so that one's definitely gonna be one I keep. This one here, kinda looks like a hawk. Uh, zebra, Let's see. I'm not really into zebras, so that's probably one I would resell. It's kind of like this ivory color. <laughs> Uncle Sam. At least I think that's Uncle Sam. He has a little star in his hat. It's cute. What's this? Hmm. Some kind of a duck or... Duck, duck, goose. This one here I had seen in the bag and Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile. He has a really cool channel. I like how he does, he does uh, little, like he orders things from other resellers and he kind of sees how they package things. And that's really neat to see the different ways how he, you know, is able to see how people take the same item and ship it. So I, that's one of my favorite videos that he does. He does a lot of cool stuff though. So definitely go check him out. He's almost at a thousand subscribers. So go over and say hi, tell him Dustin Haven sent you. This he had in one of his live sales, I believe recently. I tried to get it, I did not, you know, win, but it's a cute little snowman. I don't even normally like snowmen, but I just like the little mini size to it. So I snagged that guy up here. That's pretty good. Ooh, this one's kind of big. It's a turtle. A little bit bigger one. And one more. What is this? Oh, it's another one of those. Looks to be the same as that other one there. So yeah, I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 13 in the bag for $4.50. I think 
you know, that was a fair enough price. I don't, I don't think they sell for a whole lot online, like I said, but there were several in there that I really enjoy. There are some that I think I will resell, but overall, I'm happy with that purchase. Very cool. Now I'm going to be on the lookout for some, you know, what else is out there and what other ones I can collect. I'd really like to find like a goat or a rooster or something like that would be really cool. Maybe even a clown. I wonder if they made a clown one. That would be awesome. So do you all remember my sad, unfortunate candle story? <laughs> my beautiful chartreuse candles. They did not make it, right? They didn't survive because I left them in my truck. But I happened to see that Goodwill this day had a bunch of taper candles. I pick up a lot of candlestick holders for some reason, and I never have the candlesticks to put in them to kind of make them look a little bit better, you know, in the photos. And I also have been wanting a few candles to put in my, I have like the brass, like this color, like the gold brass candlesticks that I've been picking up, but I, I just kind of have them on display, but I don't have any candles for them. <laughs> and so I was hoping to get some. These ones here I thought were really cool. I like the little swirl, you know, look to them. So they had yellow and they had one, well, they had two yellows two yellows and then they had this orange one. I thought these would look really cute in my Halloween decor. So I picked those up there. And then they had some holiday ones that I thought would be cool if I you know, picked up things to resell around that time that people would enjoy. So they had these little Easter ones, which I thought were really cute. And the pink and the little bunny. These ones again, I think would look really good for Halloween, like a hunter orange. And then a couple of like Christmas ones. This one has like the pine cones on it. Very main. <laughs> and then this one's a little bit of a thicker candle, but I really like the looks to it. It's painted with a holly and berry there. My husband always cracks up when I say holly and berry. <laughs> he always thinks of the actress. I'm like, no, it's a design. <laughs> and then these are like little turkeys. And then these ones are like beeswax. Are they beeswax candles? Honeycomb candles. I don't know if they're actually beeswax candles, but I assume they are. They look like, look to be, so I don't know. I just thought those were cute. These ones were $2. The other ones were all a dollar a piece, so actually 75 cents and 150. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for them. I have a lot of choices on hand now when I have a need for them. And then I picked up the entire stack here of these really neat American kind of history pieces. I've never come across these before. They had a marked $2 a piece, so I paid $1.50 a piece. I do plan to keep four of them and then resell the other ones because they're, they're all the same kind of as like four different types. So the first one here is the Minute Med at Concord on April 19th, 7075. So it has this wood here and this is kind of like a trivet. So I don't know if it was meant to be like a charger that you would put on your table to put another plate on, or if you would set like a hot plate on it or what the deal is with it, but they're really cool. I, I really enjoy history, especially, you know, American history being in America. So I don't know, I just really like these. And I figured I would pick them all up and give them a try since I was gonna, you know, keep a few for myself. This one is Paul Revere, Patriot and Silversmith, April. 18th, 1775. This one is the Boston Tea Party, December 16th, 1773. And the last one is the Declaration of Independence, July 2nd, 1776. So as when they were getting together to put it together, I guess, because, you know, 4th of July was two days later. So <laughs> I guess they finally finished signing it then. But yeah, I'm gonna use this obviously in my 4th of July decor for the most part, but I figured I would give these a try on eBay auction. We'll see how they do, if there's anyone else that's, you know, into history. And uh, yeah, I just think they're really neat pieces. They obviously look really good in the back of a hutch. They look really cool in an office space, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of men out there that like to decorate with this kind of stuff, so I don't know, I just thought they were really neat.
Well, that is everything that I picked up for myself this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little treasures. And if you did happen to see anything in the last few videos that I shared with you that you were interested in, they all should be up on eBay auction at this point or in my upcoming live sale on Wednesday at 7 p.m. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what item I picked up today that was your favorite. And stay tuned for another Thrift Along With Me in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.